Uh, well, thank you for joining us on this delightful spring day. I'm Roger Hanbury from the Waterways Trust, and uh, as you'll discover, we've got Peter Luff with us to help us with this uh, virtual launch today of the <laughs> volunteer winch barge. <laughs> Uh, delighted that we've also got our partners for this project here in Witchhaven District Council, British Waterways and the Droit Witch Canals Trust and also representatives of our funders from uh, uh, Advantage West, West Midlands and also from the Big Lottery. And of course it's the Big Lottery who have enabled this project to happen uh, because it's their grant which has, has uh, brought the funding to provide this interpretation project and I think to say that we were uh, delighted with the award would be an understatement. In fact, the fact that, that so many people voted for this uh, was a big boost not only for this particular uh, piece of interpretation but also for the whole canal project which is of course about to be unveiled uh, around Droitwich. The Witch Barge was unique to Droitwich and so it's very appropriate that we've recreated this on the banks of the canal here to help people understand the history of the canal uh, how it contributed to the development of the town but also its modern value as a recreational amenity and that's what will be fulfilled when the canal is properly restored. And so this is a focal point for information, for recreation uh, and understanding about the canal history and it's very important also that it's been developed with the help of local people, people from the Kingsdale Day Centre who've created and inscribed the bricks which you can see in the seating area the young people from the town's youth clubs which have uh, worked with a Birmingham based artist Richard Ellis to create the paving around the main um, interpretation mast. Uh, local residents who've provided their own memories of the canal to help us uh, interpret that as well and that's reflected in some of the uh, messages which are there in terms of names and, uh, and how the canal uh, contributed to life in Droitwich when it was uh, up and running as, 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 as an industrial uh, transport artery. But also the uh, Waterloo Woodwork uh, Social Enterprise which has completed the uh, timber work on the, on, the, on the barge which you can admire in a moment. That's been done with the help of, of, of uh, young people involved in that. So we're very grateful to everybody who's participated in this and helped to bring this little project to life and to give it some local meaning. So to bring all that to a head, uh, if that's the right analogy, we're going to ask Peter Luff to uh, launch this uh, virtual barge. <laughs> <laughs> <you say>. <laughs> <laughs> virtual barge. We actually hope it won't move. Um, and uh, to declare it the volunteer, actually, which actually is a historic name. It's, it is the name of the barge, but also it's very appropriate that with volunteer involvement leading the way in the whole of this canal restoration that the barge here should be called the volunteer. So Peter, you have the challenge to see if we can get yeah, that we get yeah, Absolutely right. Um, it's Roger, uh, Chairman. Uh, it's, it's wonderful to be here. It's really one of the happiest days we've had on the history of this project for a very long time. It's a wonderful day. Uh, we all know how important salt is to Droitwich and was to Droitwich. Um, we're all cutting down a bit now, I know, but our ancestors valued it very highly indeed. And we should still do. We need it an awful lot in our lives even now. Uh, they think they were mining salt here, extracting salt, not mining, extracting it, in the what, 3rd century BC. Uh, the Romans certainly had huge workings here in the 1st and 2nd centuries AD. Uh, so salt's had a huge history here. And don't forget, just down there a few miles, in the River Severn, you have one of the country's busiest ever commercial arter arter arteries, at least in the 18th century when Worcester was one of the busiest ports in the country, I think the busiest port in the country, transshipping coal down from Bristol uh, up to Coalbrookdale to fire the Industrial Revolution. So actually what you've got here is canals which link those two parts of Worcester's history. It's a huge commercial uh, centre with water transport really important and salt, because these barges were built for salt. Uh, and uh, the first canal, the barge canal down there, one of the earliest canals built by that great engineering canal, James Brindley, 1771, Jamie, I think it was in there? Uh, 1771. And the, and the junction canal back up, well, I think this is technically the junction canal here, isn't it? Uh, 
just, 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 up, just up there, uh, going that way towards the Winston Birmingham Canal, one of the last canals, that probably some people say the last canal built in the country. And it was these barges that took the salt from Droitwich around these waterways and literally took Droitwich salt to the nation. So it's hugely important. So this is a, a replica of sadly a now lost craft. Uh, there was some high hopes we'd found one down near Hawford, I think, a little while ago, but sadly I don't think anything's come of that so far. Um, so much we'll find one one day during the reopening canal, who knows? But this is it for the time being. This is what they used to look like. It's hugely important commercial vehicles for Droitwich and for the country, taking salt to the nation. Now, I was one of those who voted in the People's Lottery, only, only once, of course. Um, um, uh, and uh, I'm sure you all only voted once, too. Um, but wasn't it wonderful when we won back in November 2005? And I think it's worth just pausing for our launch and say thank you to everyone who's been involved with the whole project, not just this, this, this part of the project, but the opening itself. The County Council, the District Council, Vantage West Midlands, the Heritage Lottery Fund, uh, the Waterways Trust, of course, who are making a big contribution to raising the remaining money, uh, British Waterways, and Jamie are very grateful for the help you're giving. And also, above all, never forget the Droitwich Canals Trust, because I always say, we kept this dream alive when there were other civics in this town who thought it would never happen. We had a particularly big debt of thanks today. Now, I've been an MP for 15 years. Monday was my anniversary. Uh, and today, I can tell you, it was one of the very, very happiest. Because we're not just doing this. We're not just launching the barge. We've got some more news for you, which is good. Now, you all know, I think, that the Planning Commission is now in for the reed bed development to permit the reopening of the barge canal down that way. So we think that, we hope that will go through with Jamie District Council the next few weeks. Really like the reed bed replacement work begins in June. So I think many of you know that. That's the next big sort of stage in the development, the actual work to reconstruct the canals. But there's more. I can tell you, the final T's are being crossed. The final I's are being dotted. And next week, the full detailed planning commission goes to Witchhaven District Council for the full reopening of the canals. Yay! This is absolutely huge. Well done. Today, the last lingering doubts can be dismissed. It really, really, really is going to happen. And now we're going to launch this boat. Um, I do warn you, those of you who are standing there, if there is a hitch... <laughs> I was originally given a rather heavy bottle for the photographs. Now, um, those of you who are wondering how heavy, thick champagne glass meets wood, all will soon be revealed. Don't need to stand too far back with the spray. Uh, let's put it like that. Uh, so I think uh, what we ought to say is, may God bless all who learn and play on her. Uh, and we all name this ship, the good ship, Volunteer. So here goes. Five, four, three, two, one. Dreadful East, <laughs> 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 <laugh